So I've been following Carl ever since I started doing electrical engineering classes. Mm. And he's an Italian developer who does hardware stuff that I've never seen before. So you might have seen him before for his like actuators that are able to kind of move a PCB on their own. They have a magnetic coil and they can move a magnet and they're really cool. They have a variety of applications. But recently he did something even crazier, which is a self soldering circuit. So this self soldering circuit not only solders itself, then this actually is a daughter board that will go on to solder other circuits. And of course he's comparing mm -hmm. this to a pizza where in this case, we're reflowing a surface mount circuit. So how does this work? He has this and in one of the copper layers in the circuit board, he actually has this heater element. Mm -hmm. Now he went through and added this to a hidden layer and made it so that after it had served its purpose, it could be basically broken off from where it was connected to and serve as a ground plane. So it actually has two purposes and it isn't just stuck in there doing nothing. Oh, so that's he had really to, clever. Right? So he had to go around all these vias mm -hmm. and had to use a program to automatically like trim the length and everything and then made these inputs and outputs to create these circuit boards that would not only be able to be soldered automatically, but also be able to solder other circuit boards automatically. So this setup will allow you, once you make the first one, to be able to use it as a regulator to automatically can mm -hmm. keep the temperature at a desired setting. So for the first one, he had to kind of tune it by hand and keep an eye on the temperature and keep it to the ideal setting for that particular circuit board. But the circuit board that's being soldered mm -hmm. here is able to use a temperature probe. And when it's connected to the next circuit board, it can keep that circuit board at the ideal temperature by allowing just mm. the, right, the right amount of electricity to flow through it. So it's kind of like if you've had a 3D printer or something that has to mm -hmm. keep it at the right temperature, this has one of the same types of temperature probes that will sit on the bottom and make sure that the PCB it's soldering is set at the exact right temperature. So here you can see it's kind of setting everything. Mm -hmm. And the first one had a couple flaws he had to go through and he forgot that he wasn't able to program the mm -hmm. microcontroller very well once it was put on the board. So we had to attach some cables and stuff to it, but he figured out eventually what the best temperature settings were for this and then baked it into his next result. But you can see he ordered a new run of these circuit boards mm -hmm. and then based off of the first one that he soldered, these new daughter boards that had corrections and improvements based on the mm -hmm. first design were able to be hooked up with this temperature sensor, pick in place, so they put all the components on it and then he used the first one to control the temperature of the second one. <laughs> so they solder the next one in line. It's exactly. It's perpetual. Exactly. And they can perpetually solder a new board. That's so cool. you can see the temperature goes up to the desired and boom, the, all the components kind of stick on mm. and we now have a fully functional a self-soldered circuit board. So we do have an interesting question here. So then would it be able to help desolder itself? Yes, it so would also be able to help desolder itself. So if you wanted to heat it up again, mm -hmm. you could connect to, uh, you could reconnect those kind of broken off components and mm -hmm. then make it so you could heat it up and take any components off of it that you needed to. Yeah. So the fact that it can be switched out for a ground plane is also so cool here because mm -hmm. it means there's not just this useless thing sitting in the middle that's only used once. He's really very elegantly figured out how to go from making this into a single use thing to something that could be used mm -hmm. over and over again and something also that could be integrated into other circuit boards to make them either part of a chain or uh, like this test board, just a very simple way of putting on a bunch of LEDs and verifying that it's working. I would love to say that this- don't, Oh wait, don't, do, <laughs> don't add too much power though. Yeah. It I can have undesirable effects. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I was about to touch on is I feel like this could be the future of PCB design, but only in like the sense of like, you know, it's a hobbyist creating a handful of PCBs and they don't want to go through the whole reflow solder oven thing and they could just make, or don't want to buy one, mm. they could make it solder itself.